A funeral service is scheduled for later today for one of the last of the great first generation of broadcasters here at WJAR-TV. Jim Metcalf passed away last week at age 91. He leaves his wife Ruth, two sons, a daughter, four grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren, and a legacy of broadcast excellence on the Rhode Island airwaves. Today's flashback is dedicated to Jim. When WJAR-TV, Rhode Island's first television station, first went on the air in 1949, the first voice you heard on the air belonged to this man, Jim Metcalf. He announced the first station identification. Then he introduced the first broadcast, a baseball game featuring the Boston Red Sox and the Philadelphia Athletics. As a station announcer, Jim was a key part of the coverage of the big news stories of the 1950s, including the devastating Hurricane Carroll as it flooded downtown Providence. Almost 3,500 automobiles, mine among them, valued at $5 million, were inundated. A brand new 1954 Plymouth, Jim told me later. And then I went into news in 1959. And as a full-fledged news reporter, Jim covered many important stories, like the construction of the Providence Hurricane Barrier to prevent flooding from future hurricanes, and some lighter news as well. The topless bathing suit has finally arrived in Rhode Island. Here it is. Louise, how do you feel about the topless bathing suit? It's all right to wear at home in your backyard to get a suntan. You think your husband would approve? No. Now we ask, will the topless bathing suit business be a boom or a bust? And if you knew Jim, you knew that pun was inevitable. In the 1970s, Jim became the producer of what was then considered revolutionary in television news, an hour-long 6 p.m. newscast called Extra Effort News. Jim retired from Channel 10 in 1985 after many years as producer of the new news and as a mentor to many of us in the second generation of broadcasters here at WJAR, including a radio news reporter originally hired at Channel 10 as assignment editor. We're all grateful for Jim's guidance and good humor over all those years. We had uh, many fun years uh, in the morning here in uh, NBC 10 in the newsroom with Jim Metcalf and Tara Connie and the one-time assignment editor Jim Martin and myself. He, uh, he will be missed. Did he say boom or bust? He Ooh. did. Sense of humor there. He did. He did. <laughs> and that's flashback. Yeah, it is. It's